shiz me this joint. You are now tuned in to another official episode of Untrapped the Podcast. Today we really turning this shit up, man. I got the I got the biggest in the city, man. Bippers. The biggest Bippers. Bippers. Top Both Bippers. of them. Pushing B. Top Bippers. Shaking Kobe, you hear me? Hood yeah. Tally putting belt behind him. You heard? <laughs> no, belt your ass. Skrilla getting the Millers. You know what's going on. They in the building. What's good with y'all, bro? What's up, bro? The richest junkies. The witching hour. The witching hour. The richest junkies. 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 Yo, wake, yo, 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 wake up, buddy, wake up. Whoa. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Yeah, you know, I'm glad y'all could make it. Most definitely. And for sure, just like everybody appreciate y'all for presence, bro. Like, just what y'all doing for y'all, for y'all city, to be honest. Uh, we appreciate you. you know what I'm saying? Out of every, out of everybody in the bitty, you caught. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, talk straight to the D. Uh-huh. Straight to the D. Pause. Nah, pause. 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 Major pause. pause. <laughs> that was a super pause, bro. Yeah. That, we pause. Pause. that was crazy. Bro. <laughs> no. I don't know about all that. You're right. Uh, right. from New York, bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. But yeah, we're going to get straight into it, man. You know, everybody know y'all faces and know y'all names, but they don't know the story, you know? So start off with Tyler. Tell them, tell them how the upbringing was and what, how you became Tally today. I ain't gonna lie, my upbringing was really like a regular upbringing. You feel me? Like everybody had, hey, you feel me? Well, I can't say that, but you get what I'm saying? I had my mom and shit. For real, for real, it was just me and my mom for the moment. Yeah, my mom, I had my sister and shit. You feel me? Like that. I mean, I got a little brother then, but that was, that was later on. Then. Yeah. I mean, just regular shit. You feel me? Bad ass little kid, like shit like that. Just running around doing shit. You feel me? Not really knowing, you feel me? No, I ain't had no guidance and shit like that. So everything I learned just was like, you feel me? Trial and error. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, this music shit, like, the music shit, that shit just, that shit just came, you feel me? I just tried this shit, you feel me? I just tried this shit on some, on some regular, like, damn, let me see what I can do with this shit. And mm-hmm. it been up ever since then, for real, for real. I remember for a minute. PCs and bus dollars start whamming, you hear me? You gonna let me. I, this is what a lot of people don't know, not to cut you off. No, look at Me and bro knew each other since like six, seven grade. Yeah. Not even one person in the video know about that shit. Nah, bro. And niggas be here, like, niggas be thinking out, like, nigga, this really my brother, bro. Like, yeah. we been locked in, nigga, we been locked in for a long time, man. Nah, we just, just, we just, just. Happen to start just doing music together. Mm-hmm. We feel like that. But yeah, that's where a lot of niggas get that confused at too, because they'll feel like, like, I feel like you stay on business when you stay on business. As it's like you just said, niggas be like, eh, but it don't matter. That's your brother, you know. Mm-hmm. For better or for worse, that's, it's going to be that, and that's that, you know. Mm-hmm. Nobody can never check that because you standing on your own too, respecting what y'all already established and what y'all got, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's the real shit, because a lot of niggas. They don't seem to do that. They just, you know, get in a position and just start munching. Hey, we stand on, we stand on iron and morals. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? Like we yeah, just, no, sure. we just cut different. You know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit, and I saying on us. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, so boom, coming up in Philly, everybody rapping. Skrilla, what got you to be like? All right, I'm about to start rapping. You too. What brought you to, what brought y'all to rap? So you go first. I'm gonna keep it a bean. All right. It was on some just spur the moment shit for real, for real. I'm like, man, like, at the point in time when I dissed, I remember it was around like 2020, I was already turned like, like on some street shit, you feel me? Yeah. Like clothes, dishes, whatever, like, you feel me? Right, oh, you feel me? Like, yeah, this was already cold. outside. So it just was like, I don't damn. Niggas, uh, 2020, a lot of niggas was getting on. Like, yeah. nigga, it was, it was a nigga named Sensei Antenna. He had got on and shit. And I'm like, damn. 
if this one we can get over, I know I can get over this shit. My life, like, you feel me? My yeah. life, bro, niggas' lives is like a movie. Real deal, though, bro. Real, like, real movie, real life movie, you feel me? So, niggas like, damn, went in the studio, tried this shit, but I ain't had a confidence to drop. Yeah. So, I just was making songs over and over, over and over, just to keep making songs, perfecting my craft. And I put that first video out, and that shit went up, you feel me? Mm. And then, that shit was over, for real, for real. But it wasn't like, it wasn't premeditated and like, it was just, damn, I'm gonna just go in there and see what I can do with this shit. Yeah. What about you, Squirrel? I ain't gonna lie. Before the rap shit, I was heavy on like fashion and shit. Like, yeah. I really was like a heavy clothes, like fashion yeah. boy. Like, Sorry to cut you off, but yeah. I was just, I, that was the next exact thing, bro. But go ahead. Yeah. 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 You know, like I was in fashion, like a mother, like that really, really what I'm on for real. I'm really like ASAP Rocky type. Yeah. yeah. Like, I could leave this shit alone and be straight. I'm on fashion shit. Bro. I don't vouch for that, too. Yeah, nah, that, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it took the word right out of my mouth, bro. Yeah, so I was on fashion, I was really. Heavy fashion freak, but I, I was chilling. You know, you know, you know, you know Rico have it. Yeah. So I mean, that's like that's really my brother for real. And I seen how he like, I seen how easy it was. You know, he got signed to Atlantic Records in like a heartbeat year. Yeah. So I seen how that shit was. The whole little process was with ooh, record ooh, and that shit nigga bust out here. And I seen how fast and easy that shit was. And I always was in the rapping, but I never was like, on some serious. But when I seen how he got down and got dirty with that shit, I'm like, man, why the fuck I can't do it? I just said, fuck it, I'm on that, I'm on that, I'm on that. Shout out Rico Havoc, too. Yeah, I've been following him since he was a dollar boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking that shit up. Well, I haven't been around for some years. Yeah, yeah, he gangster too. You heard everybody salute. They hit it too. You heard everybody love that nigga. You really one of them in the video. So yeah, like on the fashion tip, because you know like the typical Philly ladies nowadays is like your ACG and your Nicki suit and everything, but like I never seen you always came crazy. Like even with everything, like your whole image and everything you got, like yourself and just who you is, it's like damn, you like you are you real charismatic and don't know what to expect next. So that's like what I feel like is special about you, because like niggas is first and niggas were like, what the fuck? And they don't everybody hopping in the weed, bro. Now everybody so dangerous or so dark, you know, because mm -hmm. really, or like now, you feel me? For sure. So it's like the wave was just crazy with the fashion and everything because it cutting the one of them joints where it's like, damn. Like, all tied them together. And that, that's where the superstar joint come from because it's like, next year around this time, we're like, damn, this nigga Skrilla is selling out. Oh, how? Like, it's going to be yeah. crazy. Like, this shit going to be so yeah, crazy because I'm like, sure. a yeah. rock star, like a, already there so it's like just like the whole rock star image now you got street niggas wanting to be rock stars again yeah niggas was supposed to be this 10 years ago yeah. you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. i feel like i'm late to the part of the year For real? yeah i'm leaving shit here shit, shit. Real, shit. But i'm here now though i can't mess yeah. Break this. yeah yeah we just going up so you grew up in kissington boom you know how big kissington is all over <laughs> You know, I want to ask you, what do kids take me to you? It's like, looked at so badly all, all over the world, but you yeah. know, like, yeah. it's like, that's your home. Hey, no, nah, for real, for real, that is, that's home base, but I ain't even gonna fraud to keep it a bean, though. You know, Tali from uptown here. Yeah, you know, I, I'm from West Yeah, we've been, we, I've been over there, so look, so look, mom, I, I, I mean, I didn't live all around a bit of year. Kensington is where I, I, Jumped off the porch. I did my. I saw my first job. I did my first ride. I did my first, anything. I, did, I That's where I did that shit. At. Yeah. Nigga, I was a pup. Nigga, I, I jumped off the porch <laughs> and I it tonight. But before that, nigga, my mom and my pop was. I, I got my mom and pop. I come from good though. My mom and pop wasn't together, so I, I was kind of scrambling around the city. And my mom not from Philly, oh, so okay. it was hard as shit. Like she was fucked up. Like trying to get her shit together, so. I was going back and forth with my pop, my mom. So I done lived everywhere my mom and moved 200 times living out here, bro. Just trying to get this shit together. She was fucked up. Mm -hmm. So, like, I lived, like, when I was with my mom, she moved. Like, she done live everywhere. We, I done lived in Uptown. I done, like, 
Uptown was like one of the long, yeah, yeah. Uptown is called Dogtown. That's why I live. That's like kind of the place. That's like one of the places I stayed at, like the longest. That's yeah. where I, that's where I lived at the longest. But I've been living in Airy, uh, uh, West Philly, fucking Manny. I didn't live everywhere in the city, bro. But Kensington, where I jumped off the porch at. When I was living in Dogtown, when me and Tati's been around, I was kind of still, I was growing, I was still a kid, like, trying to, uh, play, I was playing sports and so doing, yeah, so we, mean. I was doing a little small, little kid shit, but when I got down to and that's when I really got, like, my mom opened that door for me and I jumped off the porch and I really started really doing what I do, for real, for real, and that's where I really met everybody, I, that's, that's where I locked in at, though. But I lived everywhere though, but kids then what's your to a man, really? Yeah, not real yeah. shit though. What you but what you was asking me about Kennington though, like what was you specifically? Nah, cause you me? know I got like a bad people oh. trying to cause of the yeah. you know the days. I ain't gonna, yeah, I ain't gonna fraud, yeah. bro. That shit I, I glorify that shit, bro, cause yeah. it ain't nothing like that. That shit just it's fun, that shit. It it might not look fun, that shit fun, bro. Like I had I had a time of my life out there, bro, like that shit just this shit lit, here. Yeah. It's a lot of money out there. I was a kid. I had grown man money, bro. I didn't, bro. I didn't, yeah. Though, I didn't have some like real cheese. Like I didn't have more cheese than I got right now. Just damn Kenneth and making bread down there, but that shit, that shit different, bro. That's a whole different ball game. Yeah, cause I'll be like, God damn, them people out there. Oh yeah, I got the tattoo here. This the, the when you got the foot. This, this shit started in Kensington back in the '60s. It's an Irish mob. They started the uh, dots. And the dots mean it's the Kensington dots. It mean born, live, die in Kensington. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got the I got the Kensington dots, and I put the doggy bones, and I put the gambling on my life. So I put gambling on my life, selling dog food in Kensington. That shit hard as a bitch. That shit hard as a bitch. And I put the dog, you know, tell on my face too. I was a dope boy for real here. Yeah. What what makes it? He said, one fuck with a dope dealer. I keep fucking with these broke niggas here. Yeah. He made that for me. So you tired like, you jumping and rapping and it's blowing up for me. So it feel as you feel like you got to separate yourself from trying to, you know, still live the life in the streets and a rapper because it feel like sometimes like with me because i i feel as i gotta go through it sometimes because niggas forget when you start doing something positive so like niggas forget that you a rapper like niggas forget who you is before you a rapper so it'll be like they play with you even more because now it's like you doing something that niggas don't think is cool with you rapping you know so now you just a rapper but they forget what's really going on you know? so so like what you asking so i'm actually like how do you stay grounded and keep that separated? Like, you know, I'm gonna just rock with the rap shit and not get distracted and go back that way. Cause I, I know my position, yeah. you feel me? For my, for my, for my niggas, I'm top, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to boast myself with that. Like, I'm top, you feel me? Yeah. A lot of niggas depend on me, you feel me? But my niggas play their role, you get what I'm saying? Like, I got a best friend. Mm -hmm. He locked up right now, free doggy, you feel me? But bro really like, Put the gas on shit, you feel me? Like, I ain't talking about no rap, none of that, just period. Yeah. You know? So I don't got to remain, bro, hold me down. And a lot of niggas around me, like my young niggas, they all hold me down. They love me, you know what I'm saying? And they get whatever whatever they want from me, you feel me? To whatever I can give them, I can give them. You yeah, feel me? So it's like, man, I just play my role for real, for real. I learned my role. It was hard adjusting to it, because I'm like, man, damn, I'm, you feel me? I'm shaking and moving, but. I'm, I know my father, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's really about knowing my role, bro, bro. And yeah. all feeding the shit. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, bring my dog, you too. This is my best friend, 40 over the year. Mm -hmm. He booked right now, he just got indicted, though, but that's my best friend, for real. Like, I hear him, him and dog he is, mm -hmm. and I'm in 40 years. Like, that's my best friend. That nigga got my name tatted on him, bro. That's how I like locked up. He got my birth name tatted. Yeah, and my dog 40 that made niggas tap the homies on their arms and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Real shit. Real shit. Ooh, so now it's like, with everything y'all got going on now, like even the negativity, that shit's going this way because everything's so positive now. Like y'all got people in the game reaching out to y'all now, y'all doing different shit in power. I was like, this shit just getting, it's getting real now. You feel me? Like, 
it's becoming reality. So how is that turn taking? Like you starting to see like, like yo, this shit get real. It's I feel like for bro, it's like it's a little bit easier for mm -hmm. him to receive the love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there's a lot of controversy surrounded by me, and niggas fuck with me, but it be like more so like under the table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like rap room opened up a lot of doors for me, and I locked them with a lot of genuine niggas that's like up. You feel me? Like, yeah. One of them, I say, Lucky. You feel me? I don't know if you know who Lucky is. Future. Lucky, yeah. future. You feel me? I like the future. Shut up, Pluto. That's lit. Lucky. Yeah, you, you definitely a free band. You, you definitely a free band. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. Uh, for sure. We love uh, You feel me? They cool over there. You feel me? Uh, uh, dirt. Dirt. Oh, yeah. Dirt. Dirt. Fuck with me. Yeah, we got Shout out my man Twin, he really set that relationship up. Uh, it's a lot of niggas, bro. It's a lot of niggas, bro. A lot of niggas out Detroit fuck with me. Uh, niggas everywhere really fuck with me. Yeah. Niggas everywhere fuck with me, bro. Yeah, you know, and shout out my dog Kodak. Kodak just hit me up yesterday. Here, yeah, shout out to Kodak. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uzi, you know, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Future just told me he fuck with me and all that too. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Shout out Zona Man too. Zona Man. Zona Man, that's a real, he ain't a rapper, but yeah. Zona Man a real nigga for sure. But that is definitely, you and, you and Uzi like a, you know, like a match. Yeah, right? no, that's my twin here. Yeah. That's my twin here. That's really my twin. So how was that? Like, what, like what? Like Lincoln with you? Yeah, like, like Lincoln with Uzi, how was it? She just made sense here. That yeah. shit made sense though, but I think with him though, that shit was like, when I'm linking up with my bro over here, here like yeah. that shit, like it made sense though. Here, and we ain't had no relationship at first, but once we met, it's just like our relate, our, our personality, our relationship. Here. Yeah. One thing I can say, that's a major milestone accomplishment because no underground Philly artist got no fucking song with Lil Uzi. Oh well, shit, yeah. Nobody in the city. Well, right. If they do, it ain't even see the light. How much that shit, his shit ain't even dropped. But you feel me? You see, you're behind me. Like, Uzi really behind, bro. Yeah, it's true. You yeah, know, shout out Uzi, though. For real. Yeah, shout out Uzi. Yeah, shout out 1600. Come on, man, for sure. It's true. So, like I was saying, everything going up now, so. What's the now that y'all getting in positions to put y'all people in? Like you were saying, you know your position and everything. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's some of the things that you'll change for the people in your position, in the position you're going to be in? Um, really like get like exposing them to certain shit. You yeah. feel me? Like, like damn. All right, like, this is my first time going to college and shit. Yeah. But it's like, all right, I'm not in a position where I can book 15 flights for yeah, everybody. That's how I be feeling. Yeah. But it's like, damn, I know that. Like, all right, boom, I, I get this shit where it gotta go. I'm showing y'all different ways of life. Like when we wake up, the air we breathing in in Philly different from the air they breathing in the cop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk. This was around the final. Bro. That shit. It was like I think it was the Warriors playing Boston or some shit like that. And I'm just sitting in there. I'm just sitting up there. And like, <coughs> it was my folks' apartment, a crazy apartment complex, pool top, pool, rooftop pool, all that type shit. And I'm just sitting there, I'm looking at the kids, I'm like, and the kids, they enjoying they so. You got this family right there enjoying they so. They're not, not a care in the world, you get what I'm saying? But then back home, niggas is just waking up and coming outside and trying to kill, or, you yeah, feel yeah. me? Like it's not peaceful. Like it's a fight for surviving, yeah. you can't you feel come me? outside, leave and I'm like, the year. I'm yeah. like, damn, these niggas, all, they all the way across, but they whole life in the way, like the shit that they see is so different from what we see. You coming out. It's regular. You seeing Ferraris and Rolls Royces everywhere. Like it's you feel me? Like That's out there, we just Miami, trenches, bro. every day, though. Every day. So that shit, I want them to see that, get that motivation. Like, damn, there's more to life. I know some niggas that ain't go nowhere but Philly. Farthest they might have went was Jersey, New York. You feel me? Like, yeah. it's a whole other world. People not even worry about the shit everywhere. Motherfuckers got. Multiple zero 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 in your bank account. You feel me? Yeah. That shit possible. I just want to show niggas it's possible. Yeah, that'll be real, bro. Just like man, we all got the homeboys that don't get a chance to make it out. You know, mm -hmm. or like just get stuck in Philly so much that they end up going to jail for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. Now they never been out of Philly, bro. Mm -hmm. So you think about it. You call your man. You want to desk in Miami, bro. All he can 
Mm-hmm. It was imagine what you talking about, bro. We don't see the beauty in real life. Shit. That's why it's like, bro, niggas, we got we to gotta doubt our environments because that's really all it is for real life. That's why we make sure we press five, we answer them video calls, whatever we, I mean, just yeah. to show you we're going to be Send free. Cash, yeah. Free all the men, you get what I'm saying? That we're going to risk it, they life for this shit. Free all the men that die for this shit, you get what I'm saying? We got to do this shit, you feel me? Yeah. Because then, it, like, niggas is going to jail and dying for nothing, you feel me? We got to do this shit. Them. Especially because like right now, it'll be like, oh hood, right now, y'all lit, y'all crash, nobody will give a fuck, you know, they gonna be glad because it was like, just another memory. Again, you just remember. remember, you thought you were gonna make it, it's gonna be one of them joints, but it's like, I'm telling you, like, y'all both got that flame to y'all to work, when that shit go, it's gonna be, it's gonna be up for y'all, and it's just gonna be like, and we, damn, it, like we, we both ain't even nowhere near our peak of potential, you feel me? Yeah. We just starting to realize who we really is. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, niggas don't even dig what's in store because we don't even know what we got in store. You feel me? If that makes sense. You feel me? We're not even at the start yet. Oh, You're really shit. Man, we, the we, start. Had the, we had the, we had the, we had the, 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 the training world yeah. stage right now with yeah. this yeah. shit. You we know ain't what I'm saying? getting the right world yet. Like, I mean, <coughs> they ain't reach our full power. We got power. You get what I'm saying? We yeah. some powerful niggas, man, yeah, bro. Just powerful niggas in the city. Right? Cause you know what's crazy? Like I see a lot of people discuss like the whole thing, like oh, what if Philly link, like everybody Philly link up? But you know, you know the sad thing about it is, if that was to ever happen, Philly streams and everything would crumble. You know, because mm-hmm. the way this shit set up, it's set up for failure, but it's fucked up because they deprive of niggas talking about dissing each other. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of crazy. But it was like, but if niggas unit, then we all come like. Like you see, like if you notice in Chicago, it was like the smoke is clear now. Mm-hmm. Like J Main on Old Block, like the shit is just so crazy mm-hmm. now, and it's like everything just went from there and right into Philly. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's it's one of them joints, like bro. Like they don't want to see niggas overcome or override what's mm-hmm. going on. But look, this is how I look at it. Yeah. All energy ain't good energy. You get what I'm saying? For sure. I genuinely want to see bro win. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? If he accomplished something that I can't, that I don't accomplish, I'm genuinely proud of him. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And I ran to that, and if he separated, then I was all together, but this nigga really praying on my downfall, this nigga really fake, or this nigga really hating, or this nigga trying to figure out a way to emulate or take and try, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, niggas don't be in there around this, you feel me? He's brother, you feel me? Why don't my brother, everybody in there, they be brother, you feel me? It's a family. So it's like, ah, right, it's cool, he, he separated, you feel me? Oh, and that's real, that's definitely real because it's like with a situation like that, you gotta play the devil advocate, you gotta have an answer to both, you know, and that's definitely real. That's 100, that's ain't 100% that get you real. Hurt, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ain't that everybody, that shit get you real. That's definitely true because it's like, like I said, bro, it's niggas that come out the woodworks that you're really supposed to be beef on, you don't even know him mm-hmm. or. If that's your brother, yeah. if that's your brother, protect him. You feel me? Yeah. I'm like I'm protect bro, bro, bro protect me. Hundred percent. Yeah. Put him in no position where no position where something gonna happen to him, no, and he's sure. not gonna do that with me. Sure. If he if I feel like he moving loose, I'ma grind him up. He gonna do the same thing to me. You get what I'm saying? If I'm yeah. acting out, you that's real. he gonna check me. You get what I'm saying? That's how it gotta be. That's that's just how it gotta be when you're a fan. You feel? Me? And it ain't got to be no argument or no fight or I'm Even not if it is, that shit that. ain't no argument. Like, it ain't nothing. It ain't it's it's staying right there. You're real, you know? Shit. That shit ain't going to ever change the relationship. Shit. Yeah. Jinx But nah, for real, for real, it's definitely a good thing that people get to hear you talk for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, for it. It's a great thing, actually, because I'm sitting here with you and as we talking, bro, it's just you so sharp and intelligent and quick and like that. So that's like, bro, like, that's you really want, yeah, think, though, yeah. Know? That's what I'm saying. They, that's, they see that image of you, but now they get to hear you speak, bro. Mm-hmm. And that, that, that go a long way. Same thing with Skrillex. Nobody probably knew about that fashion shit like that. Like, they probably just thought you was just, like, on some fuck it. But nah, you really talented with dressing, you know? Yeah, no, my that's name, not. My name heavy in the city on the fashion, too. I, I really used to make clothes and all that. Oh, yeah? Shit, yeah, yeah. My rap name is my, is my clothing line. I had oh, a clothing line. Don't forget, look, we ain't, ain't going to put it all out there. 
But me, me and bro just was in the fabric store. They got some shit coming. Yeah, yeah that's some crazy. Oh, that one shit. shit. That shit gonna be crazy, bro. Crazy, you know bro. how many people about to run out and grab a store <clears throat> piece, bro? Bro, I ain't even start buying clothes and all that shit. I got, I'm getting all my shit made here. Like, yeah. I ain't even. I'm, I'm, I'm about saying to with my own eyes, bro. Bro got yeah. some shit, girl. Yeah. Yeah. That shit gonna really change, like, yeah, niggas gonna damn. Fuck is that? Fuck. This shit so different, bro. It ain't nobody out here. That, you gon' anybody you gonna do, see that shit. Anybody yeah. could do it. Anybody could do a Marys and a Marys with some Balenciagas in the. Cause I don't even wear a Mary no more, bro. I be trying. Yeah, I be following the rap trends, bro. Like I ain't. That shit ass now. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, yeah. 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 it's cool. You feel me? If I wanna go put some nine nineties on and a yeah. fucking hoodie, I ain't about to get dressed up and shit. Yeah, cause I was buying regular clothes and all that. And shout out these right here, these rips. Yeah, these rips. yeah. Tierra Whack check me and was like, yo, you need to get back on your real fashion. From Tierra Whack, hearing that shit from her, like she really motivated me, got me in my bag. Like, alright, I'm yeah. trying. She introduced, she introduced me to the, some real stylists and people that really make clothes. Shout out, shout out, Aunt Tot too. That's the one that's really about to really turn me up and have me in my bag with this shit, though. Tot, like that's my baby. We about to go dumb. Nah, for real, cause bro, think about it. That's like residual income because you got boom, you already a hard ass rapper. Like with the clothing line, like the merch, everything one on one is gonna be like you gonna be on some Virgil type shit because everybody not gonna be able to get screen of pieces. Oh, watch and it's shit. gonna be separate. Yeah, it's gonna be from separate from this. Music, you know what I'm saying? And this shit right here though. Shout out Aunt Tat though for real. She made me this year. I had to make me this shit right here. Mm -hmm. It's a long shirt and for the material. This shit like bro. Oh, yeah. You don't yeah. think it's a regular yeah. blade? Yeah, nah, that yeah. And the shit I'm about to make, bro. Don't you ever seen the Drake uh, cover? You know the Drake cover. What's that album called? Uh, for all the dogs. So the dog, yeah, all the dogs. Yeah, dogs. You, you know how the uh, dog colored in all scribble scrabble with the uh, what's yeah, that white chalk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get some money, snatch the whole thing. Get them too much. Uh, 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 they gonna see this shit. You know, that shit yeah. coming up before before New Year. Yeah. yeah. So I want to touch on this because like a lot of people, Mister Screw. What you practice and everything like that, you know? Yeah. Because I practice it myself, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna box a lot for sure. Yeah. You know the John, you know? Yeah, and I don't know it. Yeah, see, I'm saying to Rand, so we just. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was not the two, though. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk to him about it. Yeah. yeah. But now nah, I try to. Like now I see a lot of, like you influencing a lot of niggas to do this. I want to do it here. You really is, is, bro. Let me tell you what's so crazy though. I just had a, I had a feature in Shadow New York and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my boy Duty Baby, yo, man. My dog Duty Baby, you're he a part of me though. We just we starting on label and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this Duty Baby here, here. you already know it. Baby boy, you already know it. Nah, he, 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 he really one of them. Really Come on, real soldier. He, he, he brand new out here. He just kicked the drink over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good, he was good. Yeah. No, we started our own label and all that shit. I got my own label. I'm starting called Rich Sinners. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm signing people to that. That's cool, bitch. I, but with, with duty though, I'm just. We just together here. We about to really push this shit. I got the label called Rich Sinners. That shit about to go dumb here right now. So we got like everything in that video. We about to really do this shit for real though. So imagine like you feel me, you got me and bro. Like yeah, you feel me, he in the with us every time. Yeah. He learning, you feel me? What? He what, what? Yeah, no, nah, and me and Tali about to drop a, we about to Next, drop a whole tape called Bippin' Ain't Easy, you yeah. We might change the name, though, because yeah. this is a little... Nah, we yeah, Bippin' Ain't Easy, you hear? We top Bippers in the yeah, yeah. here. But, nah, we working, though. We work, we, 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 we in the studio every day, you hear? Yeah. I just got some... Let me say this, too. I'm about to cut you off. No, shout out KP yeah. Skywalker, you Yeah, nah, because I, I was shout just out, about to say that, because he be saying, he be saying all the bippin', he hard as a bitch, too. bippin' out there, we yeah. bippin' out here, yeah. ain't no smoke about the word, none yeah. of that, you feel me? Mm. We ain't stealing from him, mm. like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? None of that, you feel me? Oh, all right, bippin' for us is a whole different thing for bippin' for them, you feel me? But shout yeah. out KP Skywalker, shout out Lil Dude, shout out everybody out there that's bippin', you feel me? Hell yeah, we bippin' all over the world, bippin' and drippin'. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. No, nah, we just bippin', you drippin' and bippin', we just bippin' and bippin'. Don't try to steal it, you try to steal that word yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We, we pushin' B, you heard me? <laughs> nah, for sure. Bippin' them bodies, you heard me? But yeah, though, you definitely got a lot of niggas, you know, Yo, oh, I ain't even tell you, yo, we was, I had a feature and shit out of New York and shit. Mm. 
fucking, we go to this, we go to the studio out in New York, bang, woo, I do the song, woo, woo, and shit. So, bang, the nigga who I'm doing the feature with, he tell me, like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna, bro, he asked me about this shit and all that, but that shit, I ain't gonna give too much detail, you know, you're not supposed yeah, to do really, yeah, you know, you're not supposed to do carpet and shit, yeah. so I'm explaining, woo, woo, wow, wow. This nigga like, yo, bro, so I was asking you because it's so crazy. My brother just started listening to your music, bro, and he in love with your music, bro. And this nigga, he like, yo, bro, this nigga just became a Santo too, bro. He showed me a picture. This nigga got like 50 beads on, bro. I'm like, well, what take time? And he yeah, bro, here, bro. You know, you know, niggas are fond of a tonic and walking that bitch and buy 50 beads and just be like, and be a lecky. Yeah, yeah. Be a lecky up, yeah. And just <laughs> tripping. That's why I'm like, man, he's gonna be here, bro. But yeah. nah, your yeah, influence is definitely going crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, you definitely, especially, especially in Dover, you got the influence, bro. Yeah, no, I appreciate for that sure. shit, for real. I appreciate that shit, for real. Yes, yeah. sir, bro. So what can we expect next from y'all, man? What's going on? Uh, told yeah, we dropping our tape, but we doing, we dropping our tape before I drop my real project that I really, really, really been working on for. Wow, too, bro. It's called Underworld. Yeah. I ain't about to drop. It's a tape, though. I dropped my tape called Underworld. I got 17 songs, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 20 songs on it because I'm missing three people that I really want on the on the genre. But it's called Underworld, bro. It's like that that uh, it's that dark sound, that sound that I really created, yeah. bro. Everybody keeps saying they create. I shit can't nah, you did that. Yeah, so <laughs> I got a solo tape coming. I got a solo tape coming. I can't like really tell you when, but that shit's gonna be a surprise. Shit, that shit, that shit might come out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So is there any artist that y'all really want to work with? Uh, I want to work with Lucky. I want to work with Lucky. I want to work with Pluto. I want to work with Lucky, Pluto, Yak, and uh, Uzi. Mm -hmm. That's it. And Dirt. And Dirt, yeah. I ain't gonna fraud. Motherfuckers that I really want to work with, I really, really, my favorite artist, I really want to work with Yak, Kodak. I want to work with Yak, like, motherfucker, he just hit me up yesterday, so, you know, that shit coming here. Kodak, Future, all day, Future, that's my favorite artist. Thug, Free Thug. I forgot yeah. Thug. He yeah. coming home, though. Yeah, that's, that's that's show yeah, up, yeah. You know, yeah, Thug coming home, for I sure. Thug. Yeah, Thug. Uh, I just was in the studio with Lucky, too, when I was out of LA, though, like, two months ago. I, I sent him, he got an open verse, I went on that nigga and get on that joint here. Yeah, I told him we coming out Kyle. Yeah, Lucky, that's my dog, I love that nigga. Lucky, yeah. and, uh, and it's his, old, it's his uh, rapper from Atlanta, he booked right now, Ola Rank. You ever heard of Ola? I heard of him, I think he called a body or something. Yeah, no, 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 he ain't booked for a body though, but I don't know exactly what it is for, it's definitely you no know, body though. Yeah. yeah, I think it was a Johnny though, and some, I don't know, I ain't gonna do all that, but. And uh, my and the last one, I really want to work with my baby Tierra Wack. Tierra Wack, yeah, yeah, we be together all the time though. But for <laughs> her, she uh, she like don't want, we we not forcing it. You're, yeah. It gotta be, it gotta. Be, you know what I'm saying? Cause we too different. She, we not forcing it. We want something to come like really a genuine, real deal song though. But yeah, but that's about it though. For real, for real. Shout out to Tierra Wack. Mm -hmm. Shout out to her. Opening doors for niggas. So this this is my last question because I really want to know this because I grew up in Philly, you know. I'm pretty sure I had running with the law and everything before. Did y'all ever have to visit the same judge as Meek Mill, Judge Brinkley? Nah, Because yeah, nah. I seen I was watching this drink the other day. I was like, damn, she she cooking this. Yeah, nah. I'm going through the court process right now. You feel me? I can't really talk about it, but you feel me? Law well, got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. I ain't really like, man, I ain't really tripping off. You know what I mean? It's like the system. Once they got you, they try to drag you all along. You feel Shit me? Up. Like we had war in the streets, and with, you feel me? Yeah. You are gonna fight for your life in the streets. You gonna fight for your life in the court. Yeah, it's just fucked up. You gotta come out the crib correct, though. You're yeah. and coming out correct to go either that shit fucked up, though. How the city is, though. It's like you gotta protect yourself. Yeah. Then you gotta worry about it. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can just wake up and leave the city because we got family and folks. Yeah. That's, that's what a lot of people kids. say. Like, why they not? Babies. They got money. Why they not? Like, like yeah, you got kids, kids too. Yeah, that's the I mean, main. You got two kids. Yeah, I got two. I, I got, got two daughters. daughters. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 23. Real yeah, how old are you? 24. Damn, yeah, I thought y'all was like 20. Everybody said it. Yeah, I was born in 2001. Yeah, maybe not. 
Yeah. Y'all young like me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, young and turk, girl. Yeah, young and turk. Yeah, young and turk. Uh, <laughs> super bird. <girl. laughs> but tell, tell the people where they can find y'all at. We're going to wrap this joint up, man. Right. I definitely appreciate y'all for coming, though. For appreciate real. you, man. You can find I me on Instagram. You, that's the only platform. That's the only, like, social media I got is Instagram at Hood Tally P. You can find me real kids in the game here. No, but you can find me on Instagram real at Pimmy Skrilla. Pimmy Skrilla, Skrilla with a K. And you can find me on, uh, I just I just made a TikTok. My TikTok, wham, and here. I'm doing all uh, burnt out shit over here. Tell me you find your music. Yeah, 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 yeah. My TikTok, Pimmy Skrilla with an underscore at the end. And you can find me on, uh, what you said? Oh, I'm on my album. You sent your Skrilla, I'll pop it up. You can Google me, you heard? Yeah, you can Google me. And make sure y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow the Untrapped Podcast on all platforms. And we out until next time. Shout out to Untrapped Podcast. Yeah.